The heartbeat of the textile world is echoing loudly here in Singapore. This is where technology, sustainability and creativity weave together something that shapes the future of our industry. Over the next couple of minutes, let's meet some of the most influential companies that redefine what's possible in textile manufacturing. I'm Nitin Kumar from The Textile Magazine and you're watching ITMA Asia Daily Spotlight. Here at the Pick and All booth at my Asia 2025. Yeah. What are you showcasing here? Any new innovations that we can expect? Absolutely. We have uh, four machines actually uh, displayed here. Two Arjet and two Rapier. We are releasing a new generation Omni Plus I Connect. This is a new generation machine which we have launched here. And this particular machine, 190 centimeter, is running on a Apopline. It's 1400 RPM, which is the highest level performance of an Arjet. We have the second machine is uh, on uh, Smart Shed Pro. This is again a newer innovations on Omni Plus I Connect is one. Third machine we have is the Ultimax, and this machine is running on a coating fabric 360 centimeter. And number four is the machine is Supermax Rapier from Pick and All China, and this is specialized machine for a Surat market kind Surat. of a ladies series. I, you're the best person to ask this question. Can you touch up on the India business for Pick and All? India is a very important market for pick and all, you know, top three actually and uh, pick and all strongly believe in uh, India and uh, I am associated with the pick and all for 35 years and uh, since the day one 2008 we started the company, it is 18 years now we completed, you know, we have grown, we have grown with the market so and uh, absolutely it is one of the top market for uh, Airjet as well as the rapier uh, in India for pick and all as a global market. Now we are living in a very challenging environment. Yeah. What is that one message that you'd like to convey to our viewers and your visitors? You see, the fittest one survives. This is very clear. Indian customers are the one who always wants to have the top technologies. If you come to the exhibit, they are coming to the exhibition to see what is the latest top, how to produce the fabric with the lowest price and uh, lowest cost. Now, that is where our focus of innovation basically connected together. You know, we have this a new generation machine which is focused more on higher productivity, right. lower power consumption, lower waste and also user friendliness. You cannot give something complicated machine to an Indian customer and he is not able to handle it. So those four core messages is the focus on the newer machines we launched here. So what we're displaying here, basically the warp knit, the warp prep, the technical textiles which we have in our program. The main exhibition uh, exhibits that we have are obviously these two machines which are standing here. We have on the one side a four bar machine which has been re-engineered, redeveloped, um, being also very efficient compared to the uh, previous models and a two bar machine in the same manner having been re-engineered. Uh, increasing productivity and um, efficiency. So, and both both machines serve to products which we also display aligned to the machines where we see possibilities of end use fabrics. So, in this case, the elastic sportswear, and in this case, the fashion wear um, made from warp bending machines. Asia is happening in your hometown. Yes. Please walk us through your stall and tell us what you're presenting here. Yes, I think uh, we are very glad that we have the uh, Inma coming back to Singapore. Uh, you know, Singapore is a is a is a big city. It's open. You know, so anybody from any place anywhere in the world they can visit us freely. Uh, well, uh, Unitex uh, during this exhibition okay. we are showing two machines. Okay. Uh, one is a double knit multi-purpose machine uh, with the automatic uh, system all in right. place um, and the other one is a new fleece machine that's able to knit a lot of very special uh, fleece fabric 
the main focus is on the on the double machine, the auto, the fully automated. As you know, the you know AI automation and everything is very important nowadays. So in order to uh, make sure that we are up to date, so we have developed uh, this machine. Well, I think uh, everybody know that uh, the political situation in the world today is very uh, unstable, uncertain. You know, everybody, but uh, everybody may be facing uh, some problem somewhere, you know, because of the tariff and all this type of thing. But I think uh, apparel is a basic need yep. of, uh, of, uh, of the people. So I think they are still very positive about it. They are hoping that uh, in the very near future, uh, the tariff system can be stabilized, you know, and uh, everybody is still looking forward to uh, do more, do better. Yeah, and that is always the, the, the drive right. of our customer, yeah. to know your thoughts on Itma Asia 2025 happening in Singapore and what is Cornet displaying here this year? So we are the digital manufacturers, we are the manufacturer for the digital printers uh, for fabric as well as garments and now this time for Asia Pacific we are in Singapore, we are having our DTG and DTF systems so we are showing our capacities in printing direct to fabric as well as direct to garment. We have both the systems displayed here. We also introduced our, our new uh, technological uh, innovation in the footwear industry. So we are the only ones who are able to print uh, for uh, footwears. If we can touch up a little bit on the India business for Cornet. So India is a very important market for Cornet. And that's why I also joined the company in 2023. The organization really believes in the market, the possibility to grow. We already have a very good initial supply base that we have developed. We have people as big as uh, Arvind Group, who have our uh, DTF systems. Also, we have very good presence in the in the in the north of India with people like Anish India Exports. We have now entered south of India in Tirupur as well as in Coimbatore with both DTG and DTF. I'm very very confident that India is going to be a very strategic and serious market for Kunit, and the Indian customers will get benefited by the technology. Amazing, sir. Now I know we are living in a challenging environment right now. If there's anything that you'd like to tell your customers and our viewers, what would it be? So I would like to say that the world is very uh, volatile and, and we, we see a lot of changes, sporadic decisions from the governments and, and policy makers. And this usually means that whenever we are talking about bulk production, very long runs, uh, the manufacturers are always at risk. And this is exactly where Kornit fits in. We are the experts in delivering shorter runs, even if the minimum order quantity is one. So this is what makes us special and very apt for the industry today. So I would, I would suggest that all the customers uh, who are able to join us in ITMA Asia Singapore, please come visit us, look at the technologies that we offer and you would find out that even in the challenging times, we are able to help our customers buy the possibility to keep their order quantities less, their runs uh, smaller, yet they ask to use as many as they want. from all our business units, so that's card clothing, uh, spinning and non-wovens. Uh, in card clothing we are displaying uh, doffer wires, we are displaying flat tops, especially our precise top 52. Okay. And in our spinning business unit, uh, our highlight is our automated uh, can transport system, T-CAN. And it reduces manual labor, it saves costs and also provides better material allocation leading ultimately to better quality. We have also our TC30i um, here at the booth, uh, which has a very good market response. We are here in Itma Asia in Singapore. What are your expectations from the show here for you? First of all, uh, Singapore is a very good location. It has a good connection to all textile markets. We know that a lot of our customers uh, like to go to Singapore yeah. and we were hoping for a good exchange here with our customers, a good exchange uh, with industry leaders, inspiration of course, also some upswing or yeah, upswing for the industry. Yeah. And that's a wrap for today folks. 
Stay tuned for tomorrow because we're going to bring you more insights and breakthroughs live from Itma Asia 2025. I'm Nitin Kumar from the Textile Magazine. You're watching Itma Asia Daily Spotlight.